Thank you for joining another episode of the Within Your Reach training series. Today we're going to be talking about IP ratings and zonings in bathrooms to help assist you in understanding where towel rails can be placed within the bathroom. IP stands for ingress protection and an IP rating is a rating given to electrical appliances which determines the amount of, of protection they offer against the ingress of either dust and particles or moisture. An IP rating always has two digits. For instance, the Thermorail heated towel rails have an IP rating of IP55. The first digit of the IP rating refers to the amount of protection it has against the ingress of solid particles or dust. This is measured in units zero to six, zero being the lowest protection and six being totally sealed. The second digit in the RP rating is the important one for heated towel rails and this measures the amount of water or moisture that can enter the heated towel rail. This is measured from zero to eight, again zero being the lowest and eight being a totally sealed unit which can be immersed in water. The letter X can be used in place of either digit in an IP rating. This simply means that either that the unit has not been tested for that or a test does not apply. For instance, an article that has an IP rating of IPX5 means that it hasn't been tested for the ingress of foreign objects or dust, but has been tested for moisture and has a moisture ingress protection of five. The big question though is where can a heated towel rail be placed in a bathroom? Bathrooms are broken down into four zones, which we'll explain for you now. Zone zero refers to the zone inside the bath or shower base, and appliances need to be a minimum of IPX7 to be in water. Any fitting used in this zone must be low voltage, in other words, 12 volts maximum, or at a rating of at least RPX7 is required. The next zone is zone one, and this refers to the area above a bath or shower walls to a height of 2.25 meters from the floor. A minimum of RPX4 or IP44 with hard wiring and a 30 milliamp residual current device is required here. And typically, an electrician will require a 12 volt heated towel rail or a minimum of IP55 in the zone. If you're using a 12 volt rail, the transformer will need to be located outside of zone one. Zone two refers to any area outside of zone one, but within 600 millimeters of a tap or water source to a height of 2.25 meters from the floor. A minimum of IPX4 is required in this zone. Finally, the outside zones refer to all the rest of the bathroom and there are no specific requirements for IP ratings in these areas. All electrical circuits in the bathroom must be protected with RCD protection. If exposed to water jets, such as a shower, a rating of at least IPX5 is required. Although the diagram and the zones that we've just covered explain the Australian standards for where you're allowed to place a heated towel rail in your bathroom, Thermo Group always recommends that you consult your electrician or choose at least an IP55 or 12 volt towel rail where it's going to be in close proximity to water. A sheet setting out the guidelines of placement of your heated towel rail is available via the link below. As always, if you have any questions, concerns or need help with selecting the correct towel rail for your client's application, please reach out to the friendly team via one of the contact details below who will be very happy to assist you with your request. Thank you.